Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Well, winter has officially come to the Ozarks, at least in the overnight hours. <laughs> uh, last night we actually got down to 24 degrees, which is pretty chilly for us. I know for some of you, that may still seem pretty warm because you live in really cold places, but we're pretty wimpy here in southern <laughs> Missouri, so that is darn cold for us. The good thing is this time of year, even though it gets cold at night, it still gets pretty nice during the day, at least for a few hours. Today the high is about 52, and we have about a two or three hour stretch in the afternoon, like right now, where it's absolutely gorgeous outside. We're very happy that the sun is out today and that it's not rainy. We've had so many yucky days in the past. It's prevented us from working on the duck house, so it's a nice day today, so we're out here working. Hopefully we can make some big progress on this project today. Yeah, I think we've gotten like seven inches of rain in the last two weeks. I mean, it's just been crazy. So yeah, this thing has just been sitting here exactly the way it was when we ended the last video, but we're gonna make some progress today, we hope. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is finish putting two by fours all the way around the top of the pallets. Now the reason that we're doing that is because right now, like in this section where there's two pallets, you can see they're still separate. So by lining the top with two by fours, it'll lock those into place. So not a hard thing to do. We just need to measure these, cut them, and screw some two by fours along the top. Now one thing, uh, like I said in our last video when we were building this, is that you know if you're the kind of person that needs everything to be perfect, building things out of pallets probably isn't for you. Uh, you know, if you're the kind who needs all of the cuts exact and everything to be perfectly square, this type of project will probably drive you crazy. But the ducks won't care and it's going to be a great project when we're done. So uh, when you aren't using a kit or anything to build, you just need to run with the punches and you got to do the best that you can to make everything work out the way they should. You know, what you give up in it not being perfect is made up in cost savings. I think this entire duck house when we're done is going to cost me less than $300. So that's not a bad investment for an eight foot by eight foot house for these ducks. Well, I'm not a fancy tool kind of guy. In fact, I normally buy pretty cheap tools, but I just recently broke down and bought myself this new impact driver for driving screws. I still went cheap because I got it refurbished on eBay, but uh, wow, this thing works a lot better than what I had before. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, so now we have the two by fours all the way around. It really added some nice stability. Now one question that we had on our last video about this as well is are we concerned about it blowing over in the wind? And no, we are not concerned about it blowing over because this thing is gonna weigh a ton by the time we're done. All this pallet wood and everything else that we're using is so heavy and the way that we have it situated on our property, most of the time the wind will be coming from the side and so it's just not a concern for us. We're not going to anchor to the ground in any way, and I have no concerns about it blowing over. Well, we're ready to get started on the roof. So the first thing that we're going to do is run a piece of 2x10 all the way along the front. It'll be up a little bit to give us a pitch on the roof angled toward the back. We're going to temporarily tack up a piece of 2x4 so that the 2x10 can sit on it, which will make it just a little easier for Sarah to be able to hold it up there while I actually screw it in. We're gonna put that four inches from the top so that when we put the two by 10 on, we'll have a five and a half inch uh, pitch from the front to the back. So that's what we're gonna do first and then we'll be able to start actually putting our roofing boards on. All right, so we have that two by 10 up on the front and you can see 
that, that now that is what's going to cause our pitch on the roof. Again, we're doing about five and a half inches from front to back, which I think should be plenty. So, so now we can start putting the boards up and then actually start working on the roof. I'm gonna be using two different types of brackets on these. On the front of the roof, I'll be using these right here and our two by four will actually fit right in here. We'll screw it down nice and tight. And then on the back, we'll secure them with these right here. For this, I bought 10 foot two by fours and that will leave seven inches on the front and the back. When I put the actual metal roof on, I may make the overhang even a little bit longer than that, maybe like 10 inches on the front and the back. So we're gonna start putting these boards up. Hopefully we're gonna get this done yet today, all of these boards, and I'm hoping we can even at least start on getting the walls up today. If you guys remember in our last video, we talked about how we had a skunk in our old duck house. And that is why we're doing this new duck house because the duck house stunk like skunk and it was in the ground and everything. But I wanna let you know that all the weather that's come through has made the skunk smell from this area from the ground go away. You can't even smell skunk anymore. So that is fantastic. We're not out here in the middle of the skunk stink working. All right, those are all done. That is a huge step forward. We're actually going to not put the roof on right now. We're actually gonna put the sides on next. I went today and I bought all the plywood for the sides. So we're gonna start cutting that. And I'm hoping that we can still get these sides done yet today. We probably have an hour, hour and a half of daylight left and they should be pretty straightforward. You know what happens when you say that though. So we'll see how things go, but I'm hoping by the end of the day today, we'll have all of these done, and then maybe tomorrow, I can actually start putting the roof on. Well, I didn't actually think we'd get this far today. The days are starting to get so short, they kind of sneak up on you, and before long, it's starting to get dark and cold. So, we got all of the walls on. There's still some trim that we'll put on the corners and things to make it look a little nicer, but all of the plywood is on. We're just about ready to start putting the metal roof on. I'll probably do that over this weekend. Then really all we have left is to, you know, make some type of door for it and the ducks will be ready to move in. That is so exciting. I'm hoping we can get it painted yet this fall, but it just depends on how cold the weather remains. The winters here in Southern Missouri really aren't that harsh. So there's a possibility that we could get this painted. We've left quite a bit of space at the top for ventilation. Again, because our winters are so mild, it's not gonna be a problem. We're really more concerned about the heat in the summer, letting some of that heat out of there so they can stay healthy. We're glad that you guys are following us as we do this project. I love building things out of these pallets. Uh, for me, it's just a great way to save some money and build a nice sturdy structure for the animals. We'll be finishing this up soon and you guys will see the finished product. If you guys have any ideas of names that we can call this new duck paradise that we're building here on the homestead, leave them below. We'd love to hear them. we got a lot of projects planned for the ducks. The house here is just the beginning. It'll probably take us a year or more to get them all done, so we're glad that you're following along. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you want to know how you can support our channel the best, 
the absolute best way is to share our videos with all of those people that you think would enjoy them. And until next time, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.